Technical Corner. So welcome to this edition of Technical Corner. Today, Gio and myself are going to be talking about five axis machines available in the UK market. We're going to run through eight machines that are available. We're going to talk about them in brief. Please do feel free to comment uh, in the comments box below on YouTube because we're always interested in your feedback. Okay, number one, this is going to be a very energetic show, this one, Gio. Let's talk about this GTX 620 from Dugard. You've had a quick look. What do you think? I love this machine from Dugard. I love the accessibility. Two of the four faces of the machine open up completely with the two large doors. Great for setting um, components and getting large components in there nice rigid solid machine the machine has a very big working envelope for uh, has a big working envelope for a machine of this size you can also get a lot of weight on the table uh, also the extraction of the swarf is quite key in this you say about the open doors but the way the whole thing is configured means that the the swarf is evacuated very very easily traveling column style machine Dugard's brought this into their portfolio because their customers were asking them for a trunnion style machine it comes with high pain siemens you've got various options on the control high speed machine and as well you'll notice with this one it actually comes with the uh, with the bloom probe so you can get this machine from dugard it is a new machine to the market they've already sold plenty of them uh, feel free to comment on this or watch the video on youtube so this is video number one we now move on to video number two uh, and again this this is a uh, a new piece of kit this is a this is a really good video. I know you, you love this one. Do you saw, saw this video uh, or saw this machine at Emo? Tell us about the Breton machine. The Breton machine is an absolutely fabulous bit of kit. It's the first time I've seen this machine, Paul, um, and I love um, the capability of having the turning feature on a fifth axis machine, um, which is quite unique. Um, I know there's other people that do, and we're going to move on to that too. But I mean, for, for this type of component where you've got uh, milling features and um, turning features, where you want to turn internally or uh, or externally um, it's fantastic to get all of them features and and the relationships of them features all manufactured in, in one operation on one machine and um, for such a high value part high value parts you imagine taking that off and putting it onto another machine the risk introduced with that this tool changes is it's a head that it actually changes here on this machine you can also add a boring attachment which is housed uh, here at the back of the machine to the left of the machine and then you can do all your boring work like you said your milling work it is multi-function uh, machining from a breton machine what do you know about breton extremely accurate i mean you, you mentioned the size of this machine you can physically see that physically see the size of this machine repeats to, to an accuracy of five microns yeah it is yes. a very high precision machine tool this one it's available from lead machine lead machine tools in the uk this is a brand new machine to the marketplace multi-function aerospace casings, stuff like that, absolutely perfect. Specialised work, uh, specialised fifth axis work with turning uh, features. Be interested in your comments on this one. Right, okay, so we're gonna move on to video number three now. This, um, again, is, a, is, a, is another uh, new piece of kit that we actually um, reviewed at EMO 2017. This is the Matsura MX520. This is one of their most, well, this is their most popular selling five axis machine, now with a four piece pallet changer. The introduction of this pallet changer, do you, what does that give an engineer? Um, I, I mean, it's Matt Sora's philosophy all over, un, unmanned running, uh, running through the night. Um, and to have that extra capacity, to have them four pallets, if you've got, um, if you're doing the same component in higher volume, fifth axis work, brilliant. If you're doing uh, multiple fifth axis components, you can have uh, a different component on each pallet. Um, it just gives you that extra capacity, unmanned running, um, and, and in a very small footprint. And the thing is with Matsura as well, you have been able to buy these MX520s with third party automation solutions has been popular. Matsura have developed this, so it's a completely Matsura integrated cell. You deal with Matsura on everything, not that you wouldn't have done with a third party, um, third party product, but it means it's a Matsura product, it's a blue product. Um, four, p four, four pallets here means you get that overnight run. And I think was interesting, I can't remember whether, and you you may be able to the exact weight and size of part that you can get on these pallets but it's quite significant isn't it it's not for a small machine you can get quite a heavy part quite a large part um, for you know for flex to give you flexibility oh most well, certainly i think it, you know with the matsura you, you know you're getting quality yeah quality the the day, um... premium precision machining from matsura so that's the mx520 four piece pallet system don't forget comment on this machine below brand new to the marketplace this is launched at emo 2017 on to the next video. So we move on to this next machine. Uh, Steve Brown from the Engineering Technology Group. This is the Quasar machine. This is a uh, five axis machining center. This is the MT400U with, with turning function. Do you think there's a market for this turning on this type of machine? 
Um, most certainly, yes. I mean, Quasar are only manufacture milling machines, um, and they've manufactured a machi milling machine here with turning uh, capability. And, and and as we can see on this video here, it is predominantly um, a turn part with milling features in, as you can see here. But for me personally, other great applications for this type of machine, if you've got any regular shape component with turning features. Uh, within that component where you wouldn't probably look to circle interpolate um, that bore uh, because maybe it's too deep. What a great solution, you know, I think again. Circular interpolating though, that is becoming, you can you can achieve good tolerances with that. Why wouldn't you use that instead of turning? I suppose it's not as fast, maybe depths as well. I think the depth, you know, you imagine you're having a very long end mill um, yeah. and that could kind of, you could get push off yeah. um, uh, uh, from using a very long end mill and then you do get a certain amount of ovality. So if you're looking to have a very accurate bore, there's no other better way of, of bo uh, you know, boring the bore. Yeah. Yeah. You're boring <laughs> me now. But we've got, we got to move, this is the Quasar machine. It is a, is a high, a uh, high precision premium five axis machine tool with the ability to turn on it as well. Uh, next video now, we go on to, I know this is one of your favorites, one of mine too, DMU 60 Evo Linear. Uh, I'm gonna start with this one. 80 meters a minute in the, in the I think it's the X and Y axis on this machine. It's a linear drive motor machine. 60 meters in the Z, ball screw. It's about high speed machine in this machine. It's something else, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, most certainly. I mean, some people will say, well, why do you need it that fast? But if you've got a component, a big fifth axis component that takes, uh, you know, would have taken 10 hours to machine, you could knock three or four hours off the cycle time. You could, and the acceleration is key. It's about moving from point to point. It's a very dynamic machine, but this machine actually has 2G acceleration. Hmm. And I think when you watch this video, and it is worth watching in detail, is we talk about the processing time, how key it is to get from uh, from, from the control to the machine, and, and, and a message takes 0.4 of a millisecond. It's phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. And I'd like to touch on also the control system, the sea loss. I think that, that for me, this is, is also um, improving efficiency through software. So the, the machine tools, I, I believe, in my opinion, uh, uh, there's only so far you can improve them mechanically or the hardware of the machine tool. And I think that the, the, they're thinking out of the box here a little bit. And a lot of the efficiencies coming through the software, you can import drawings, you can import CAD models, and um, it's all app based. So all of these younger engineers that are coming through that are used to their iPhones and iPads, you know, they, they can see for familiarities with the control system and e easy to use. I see what you mean, getting improvements in the hardware's going to be hard but because it's so fast but the software is somewhere you may be able to gain that's the dmg uh, dmu 60 evo linear comment on this it is a great machine it's a great video as well so we move on to our next piece uh new technology that's what we're talking about in a lot of these instances and we're a lot of new machines coming through this one see the crowds there uh, this guy, very enthusiastic, brilliant to interview. He is Mr. Spinner. Uh, and, and this machine, he's kind of bouncing around like he's ready to go on a football pitch. Mr. Spinner was telling us about this VC1650. Uh, he wanted to develop this machine. We see a lot of these machines now with a fixed table and an integrated C-axis. Uh, and, and it gives you more flexibility, doesn't it? I think, yeah, most certainly. Also, I think with the C-axis and a swiveling head, I mean, all of the machines that we're looking at here are all application-specific. We keep mentioning application-specific. With the swiveling head here uh, um, and larger components, the comp you're bringing the component to the spindle. You're not you're not uh, spinning the component around and, and jerk factors, etc., and wear and tear on the machine. So. Um, You've got very large Z strokes, uh, X and Y strokes on this machine. You, yeah, you, you can get bigger that. parts, and like you say, if you're moving a part like this around, the, the more you can take it to the spindle rather than taking the spindle, sorry, the more you can take the spindle to the part, the better, because obviously the movement of the, uh, of the component or a heavy part around. So this machine is available from White House Machine Tools in the UK. Total flexibility, versatility, five axis machine, and powerful, big, big machine tool. So let's go on to our next video. This one is, uh, this is a, a, a video about a lead weld, a new five axis machine. I visited Camtech Engineering. They installed one of these recently and they're already in fact thinking about their second machine. Um, did a little bit outside, very sunny day, looking to get a suntan as you can <laughs> see. When we went inside, and uh, it takes us a few seconds to get inside, but you've seen this machine. This is a V30i, it's a very small footprint. Uh, fundamentally, you've got a rigid table and you've got a, uh, a, a five-axis trunnion table there. 
total flexibility, isn't it, in a five-axis solution, all for 80K? I think it's absolutely amazing value for people looking to get into the fifth-axis market without a shadow of a doubt. I think when I first seen the machine, Paul, um, I auto automatically thought it was a three-axis machine with a, 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 a fifth-axis table on there. However, it's not that. It's all integrated, fully integrated into this great little lead weld machine. And on the left-hand side of the machine bed, you've actually got a, a risen, uh, a riser table, riser block, that's at the same level as your, your four, fourth and fifth axis. Rotor so that, that, that's for your sixth operation and then you've got your, your table to do your, your five ops as well. Big thing for me is that people do say, well, I'll just buy a two axis table and put it on a VMC. This is fully integrated. This is a total lead well solution. So you've not got two manufacturers of two different products, interfaces and all those types of things to worry about. It's all in one machine for uh, £80,000. Incredible value, high speed as well. Uh, driven by the Fanuc control. So this is the Leadwell V30 uh, machine. The final video today that we're going to move on to uh, is another great piece of technology for from a machine tool builder that has um, uh, heritage when it comes to building solid uh, foundations for machines and very, very heavy duty machines. This is a Victor um, V Center, uh, this is a VC800 machine. Five axis, similar solution to the spinner, but looks at a bit bigger, doesn't it? It looks huge. I mean, the Z stroke on that looks 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 massive. I mean, the the, the negative angle that it, that it's putting up there on the demo run yeah. um, at that height. I can't imagine you loading a component at that height. It's a huge envelope. Huge, huge envelope machine. And that C axis as well. It looks like a big table. I think you can go up to an eight hundred table on this machine. So you can imagine the size of component that you could actually fit on here. Victor are very well known for solid, stable foundations, heavy duty machining machines that last. And this is a good introduction for them. Launched about 18 months ago into the market. You've got an expansive tool changer. You can have lots of tools on it. The Fanuc control, and there's also options on the control. Uh, you say about the envelope looking big. It does look big, doesn't it? But not only the envelope, the machine looks big. It's heavy. It looks it looks a beast of a machine, solid solid machine. And also on the left hand side of the machine, there you can actually see the machine bed. So if you if you wanted to do three axis work or, or load a large component across the C axis and not use your C axis. You've got that capability and just use your swiveling head. Uh, lots of potential there for lots of different components, large components. Good bit of kit, yeah. So that has been it. That's been Technical Corner this episode. We want you to comment uh, in the comments box on YouTube. We want to know what you think about the machines that we've that we've covered in today's episode. We've gone through eight machines, everything from a simple uh, five axis for £80,000, which is a, a great subcontractor's machine, right the way up to the Breton machine. The Matsura MX520 pallet machine. Loads to see. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. As I say, comment and uh, we'll see you next time. Technical Corner.